Well, it is easy to feel disconnected from history. Life gets busy and we focus on getting through today. But the events of 80 years ago broke through all that, connecting a family to Pearl Harbor in a way they've never felt. Meg Ferris joins us now with a look at a hero's homecoming and how you can be a part of it. Meg. Well, thanks, Devin. Three generations of a family are in town from Texas. They're on the North Shore for a special ceremony, a memorial they consider a blessing. It's one that will go down in history. <laughs> Navy Seaman First Class Houston Temples has come home. It's taken 81 years. As they literally stop traffic. Monday night, traffic on I-10 and the causeway was stopped as the remains of this 24-year-old World War II veteran arrived from Hawaii. He was aboard the USS Oklahoma when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. He said, Mama, Mama, don't worry about me. I'm serving my country. Wow. Shirley Temple Heyman, the niece he never got to hold, remembers 40 years after the war, reading those words he wrote home in a letter to his parents, along with his excitement that she had arrived in the world. I hear that Robert and Velma have had a little baby girl, and I am so happy for them. And I have sent her a baby blanket. And of course, when I read that, my heart stopped. It all started when a cousin gave a DNA sample, and the Navy was able to identify his remains. They came in their dress blues to Shirley's home. Mom just started crying, even though she was months old when he died. We've always heard of Uncle Houston. Shirley's back in Bogalusa, where she grew up. She and her son, daughter, and granddaughter are in town for Uncle Houston's funeral Wednesday. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. On the anniversary of that infamous date, there will be bagpipes, taps, a 21-gun salute, ranking Navy dignitary at the Bogalusa American Legion. The Navy said that was the first scheduled uh, ceremony for, uh, for December the 7th. So it was just, it's an exciting time, not only for the family, but just for the country. It's so important in our country now to have these stories that are like full of patriotism and just honor. To grow up learning about wor World War II and the bombing on Pearl Harbor and then to have a piece of our family and that is just really special. Such a charming family I got to spend the day with. Now, this is the first time the Bogalusa American Legion is hosting the funeral for a local World War II veteran. The procession starts at 1130 Wednesday from the funeral home to the American Legion Hall. Visitation is from noon to 1 with the service at 1. They are expecting a lot of people, but you are invited to go.